You know, it's totally okay for a game to get a mediocre review. It really is. But you can't tell that to the ponies when it comes to Days Gone. All right? You really can't. I'm looking at all these Sony ponies, all these pro Sony people automatically saying how so-and-so place is discredited to them because they gave Days Gone a mediocre review. How IGN is discredited. How GameSpot is discredited. Well, they have been discredited far before Days Gone. So, miss me with that shit. They've been discredited for quite a long time. Yet, there's a high level of damage control going on. No one said that Days Gone was a completely dog shit game. Its frame rate can be dog shit at times. Believe me, I know. But, people's complaint in the critics column is it's nothing new. We've waited six years and it may look beautiful in some scenes but then the frame rate fucks up and it doesn't matter. It does it on the pro also. But no, no, no. It's everybody else's problem. Everybody else is seeing a terrible game. Of course we knew the game was going to sell decent. But there's been a lot of shit that has sold decent that has been fucking garbage. Case in point, every year you buy the same Call of Duty. Call of Duty sells well, but it's the same shit that does nothing new and brings brings, brings nothing new to the table. Now, Days Gone brings nothing new to the goddamn table. What is the problem, Sony ponies? What is the goddamn problem? Okay, and the funny thing is, every time I look in the comment section or somebody damage controlling, you're throwing Microsoft under the bus. And let's take a moment of silence for Microsoft. Yeah, we know they they're done. They ain't got shit to show us. Microsoft is just fucking done. And that's my point. Stop bringing up, oh, well, uh, Microsoft games, Xbox One games, don't do that well. And I'm like, oh, my God. Leave them the fuck out of this. They're horrible, okay? And that's all Microsoft's fault for having no games. And then the games we wait for on the Xbox One, if you got one, aren't that great. Why do you think they go on the Game Pass? They're giving them away. Anyway, back on subject here. Look, don't throw Microsoft in there as interference. You guys who have been sticking Sony controllers up your ass for the last five years have been talking about how great the first party games is. And then you got one that's mediocre and all hell breaks loose. Okay? Calm the fuck down. It's mediocre. Deal with it. Why is this such a problem with dealing with a mediocre game? Who are you competing against? Right now, you're competing with yourselves. Okay? You're like close to 100 million console sales lifetime. You're competing with yourself. So, deal with having a mediocre game. Days Gone is mediocre. Some people think it's trash. Somewhere, I, me, I need to put in more time with the game. But I'm not going to jump on people's fucking jock about voting the game mediocre that I may like. Okay? It's happened many times in my years of gaming. Many goddamn times. Why are you guys online complaining, backpedaling, damage controlling? Yeah, answer that question. But I'm done here. This is just fucking ridiculous. I've been listening to the damage control since last week. Yes, before the game even dropped this past Friday. There's been a lot of damage control going on. 
But I digress. So as usual, because I'm a fury, I'm here, now I'm out. Peace.